Hi, Blue Whales. Welcome back to school. Since families are not yet allowed in the building, we wanted to show you some of the ways that we are keeping our community safe as your child comes back to school in the fall. Come on in. When students come to school, there will be two doors that they can enter, the front door and the second door on the front side of the building. These entrances will be clearly labeled by grade level, so students will know which one to use. Students and staff will be asked to wear masks the entire time they are indoors. In the hallways, there are markers on the floor that are six feet apart to help students remember to stay distance while they're moving inside the building. We will be teaching and reminding students frequently how to safely move in the hallways. In the bathrooms, we will also help students maintain distance by blocking off stalls so students are not directly next to each other. Each classroom and most other rooms in the building will have a HEPA filter like this one to help keep the air purified. This picture is an example of how a classroom might be set up to keep students distanced to the extent possible. Classroom setup may vary, but all teachers will be setting up classrooms with three feet of distance between students wherever possible. Each student will have their own materials, so we're minimizing what students are needing to share. Lunch will take place the majority of the time in this outdoor covered play court area. Students will sit six feet apart and will not get up until the end of lunch when they throw away their trash and go back to their classrooms with their teachers or if they need to use the restroom. We may need to utilize the indoor lunchroom. If this is the case, a small number of students will sit indoors. Indoors, they will be more than six feet apart and facing the same direction wherever possible. Students will utilize the three outdoor areas that are available to play in. There will only be two grade levels outside at one time during recess. There will be a designated space called the Protected Healthcare Room where students will stay if they're experiencing any COVID symptoms. This room will be supervised at all times and it will not be used for anything else. COVID testing will be available on site for students who are experiencing COVID symptoms. Families will be asked for consent before their students are given the test. 